strong, tough, resilient! All right, Mike, and we come all the way from Formby. I'm in, I'm from Derby, but I've come to see me when I in from Formby. <sighs> Terrifying from St. Tassif. It's just gone 5 a.m. on Tuesday, the 27th of December. And uh, it's Das Resilience, so let's get it on. It's Christmas time! Hello, this is the sixth Das Resilience Challenge. It's the 27th of December. It is about half six in the morning. We're on the Clamberis Pass up to Snowdon, the summit of Snowdon, the roof of Wales. I just don't understand what's happening because every time we go out, the weather is absolutely appalling. It's dark, we're in the mist, it's driving drizzle. Um, this wasn't what they led us to believe. However, plainly, this is perfect DAS resilience challenge weather because you need to be strong, tough and resilient to come out of bed at this early morning and crack on and doing this. So, what can I say? Here we are. We're expecting um, a good turnout today, lots of interest. Um, hopefully, I won't be there for six hours freezing in my manhood off. We've got soups, teas, sleeping bags if necessary. And um, so what can I say? Bring it on. Well, we've just got to the, uh, the top um, of Snowdon. Um, it's pretty wet. We're all we're soaked, so um, we're going to. Uh, you can just see the new building behind me. I say new; it's a few years old now. Um, Molly has performed admirably. Hang on. There she is. Um, I'm going to put a jumper on in here once we get settled. So yeah, so um, you can s just about see the trig point up above us there, shrouded in cloud. I'm going to go up and do a piece of camera there in a second. Um, there's your prize, ready and waiting from wherever you arrive. Um, let's go and just have a look around. We found a nice sheltered spot to uh, for base camp, but if I come out here, you can probably see in here that it is getting towards inhospitable. That's Richard returning from the top of the trig point on Snowden, December the 27th. How did it feel, Richard? It bracing. It's very cold, wet and windy. We're going to try and get into a bivvy bag and get some brew on, yeah? Get some warmth back into us. Well, we're, we're much happier now. We're, uh... No, we're not. <laughs> we're much happier now that we're in a bivvy shelter, um, we're sat on a sleep mat and the jet boil is is just been ignited. So um, I've just checked our Twitter and Facebook streams and uh, there's, from what uh, you guys are telling me, there's a few people on the mountain already, so that's good. It's about 25 to 10, 20 to 10. Um, so yeah, we sit and wait really. We're um, we're very I think cold. we are very cold. I think the one thing we we failed to anticipate really was um, was keeping warm during the day. I mean, we've got lots of gear with us, but I think we'll be glad that we bought the down sleeping bags and bivy bags later on because uh, if we're sat on this mountain all day, it's going to get cold. So, a Merry Christmas from me. Merry Christmas from the dog. Get the dog a <laughs> shot there. The dog's Hi. sporting her uh, genuine army surplus jumper. She's just slapping up some food that I've put down for her. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, see you later. Well, I'm not sure if you can see, but well, you can probably hear the dog. Um, we've there's been sort of four or five people summit already. Um, none of them dash resilience entrance, but it just goes to show that no matter what the weather throws at people. They're more than prepared to come out into this. Um, there's four people on the summit mound at the moment going up. You can just see that guy. <coughs> it could possibly be a girl who could tell. So we'll wait and see. There's another party of two just in the cloud there. <coughs> 
Well, it's 20 past 11. Uh, there is still no sign of um, a winner, though I I have seen a tweet um, by uh, PickersM86 who reckons that he's just got onto the ridge, he's knackered, and there are a few people ahead of him. So uh, that was about five minutes ago. So in theory, the next sort of 15, 20 minutes, we should uh, we should see some bites at the cherry, so to speak. Uh, this is Dad coming back from a, a little tour of the um, the closed cafe. There was a guy up here a moment ago. He walked past me, and then he came back. He said, uh, "So it's supposed, supposed to be a cafe up here, isn't there?" And so I um, had to break the news to him that it was uh, only open during the summer times. And then he asked about the train, and I had to break the news to him that uh, that was only running at the summer as well. So uh, he's looking forward to a cold, wet walk back down to uh, his car. So here's Mick. How's it going, Mick? Strong, does resilient. <coughs> See, resilient. Pulmonary edema is setting in already. We're only a thousand meters above yes, sea level. Well. I've not been well, however, a deal's a deal, I'm here, so... You see guys, he's not well and he's on top of a mountain. Um, it's a Christmas lurgy, however, um, we've got a few hours to try and stay warm in these conditions, so we're moving around a lot, haven't resorted to the, uh, the down bags yet. Have you seen the uh, uh, Hilton Hotel of a bivvy? I have, I... It looks uh, like a squat. I did some... But it's better than it looks. Before. Notice we have suspension loops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Four mod cons. Count four. Yeah. L cap. Um, got lots of gear, but no idea really, I suppose. And uh, Richard assures me that there's two to three parties um, sniffing around, so somebody's going to win today. It's good prizes. He's gone the extra mile for Christmas. So, and of course, because we're trying to encourage more people, we've got a secondary pie prize. So there's 20 pairs of Gore-Tex overmitts, as worn by the staff here. To, um, Just waiting for your arrival now. Yeah, so uh, not everybody will be disappointed. But as you can see, I was hoping to get some panoramic views today, but it's out of the question, of course, yeah. 